Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Um, today is Thursday, March 28th. I'll be going over, over my recap for today. So today, um, I traded uh, pretty cautious for today, but um, there's a few uh, times where I could have taken um, some profits, but I didn't, and it went against me, and I ended up either swapping out for a break even, or swapping out for a small loss. So, um, let's get started. So the first trade I did was uh, Cron, C R O N. So Cron, uh, I was watching this for the continue uh, wash back down, uh, but for my watch list, uh, I wanted to retest at least this uh, nineteen level. Um, I I wanted to have have it open. Uh, a pop towards 19 and then fade back down uh, but I end up opening weak uh, so I end up starting short it was a little bit of a chase but I saw this uh, a lower lower low making lower low so I end up short there um, hoping that it would pop and fade back down to a 16 uh, 25 area which was the next support uh, but it helped support here um, it, I end up shorting here and then covering uh, when it had this little doji uh, long wick candle so I end up taking my uh, shares off there and this was like a total of $25 win in the morning um, but it found support at the at this area here um, about uh, in January so after that, yeah, I took it out, I was watching this, and then I saw a short opportunity here. Um, so, I mean, I saw it trying to break high day here at uh, 1896, and then try to break again at 1898. It kind of stuffed, uh, retested, I went ahead and start short, and then re-added some more. Um, and then I was uh, unrealized um, at $50 at this point, and I didn't take any. And then I made the mistake of uh, adding more here, uh, hoping that it would fail this pop. So you can see this was a prior resistance support. And then I was hoping for it to have a fade back down. So that's why I added here. Uh, but it ended up falling uh, above this uh, support line and consolidating. So I went ahead and take it off. And this was pretty much, a, a, I think it was a flat trade or yeah, it was a flat trade. Uh, this was a flat trade, and then I saw another short opportunity uh, up here uh, where uh, I saw this um, getting weak uh, towards this high of day. Um, so I went ahead and short here, added it here, uh, popped back down, held, held the previous high support over here, um, and then uh, this wick here was really weird. Uh, so I had my stop at um, I had my stop at 1920s, and what happened was it it popped right up, and then it just stopped me out, and then it had like a huge sell volume. It washed all the way back down to like 1910 from 1920 in like just a second. You see that huge volume. So it felt like there was some institution selling there or something. Um, but pretty much I stopped out at the end, high of the day and it ended up fading back down here um, towards this uh, towards this area. But yeah, uh, overall I did like kind of three separate trades on um, trying to short it. Uh, I ended up giving it back and uh, down a total of negative 17 for that trade. Uh, the next trade I did was CPRX. So CPRX, I was I was hoping for a, a a fade back down here, but I I think I was hesitant um, when it fell below like low day. I started short, uh, popped back up, tested VWAP, held, and then it faded back down. And then I just took it off when it it didn't um, break down uh, green to red. So I just took it off, and it was just like a small five dollar win, but it ended up going down pretty. Uh, 
towards five dollars. So the next trade I did was FFHL. So FFHL it was uh, on a percent um, gainer list, and you can see every time it pops, you got like these long wicks, long wicks, long wicks. So it's it's a pump and dump, and historically every pops gets sold and. You can see there's this uh, around this 320 area is where it fails usually. So I actually hit that 320 area. Uh, I went ahead and shorted it early, so really small. And then I added uh, a few more and then a few more. I ended up covering here uh, and here uh, for like a 24 hour win. Um, Cause I was, I was kind of hesitant if this support started holding. Um, then you can see it maybe curl back up and pop towards high of day and squeeze short. Cause if if a lot of shorts see this, um, everyone will have the same idea. And um, that's why it brought out this move here uh, with no, no support. Um, but all these shorts here would end up buying, uh, buying back to cover and then it would bring the stock back up. So I didn't want to get caught up there. So I was kind of being, um, uh, conservative and just cover there uh, for a small win. Um, so the last trade I did was CIFS. So here's uh, it was kind of popping up. the The daily chart looks kind of good. Uh, it went above this uh, pivot pivot point here at three twenty. Um, but what I initially wanted to do was to short it. I saw this. Uh, high volume doji candle started popping back up so I went ahead and short short uh, and short here uh, I could have covered here for like a $40 win but um, I end up not taking uh, some profit and end up covering um, at this uh, high of day so this ended up with uh, I think like a small loss like a negative $20 or so uh, but then uh, there was a long opportunity, so if you have this uh, area here, so you can see it become, uh, it was resistance, become support, and usually I buy this flag here. So I usually buy here, um, normally with this strategy, uh, when it's holding the support, um, and then you buy here, um, and then it will retest, and then go higher. Um, so I missed I missed that long opportunity, but when I saw it pop up um, and then forming this flag here, um, so it actually fell like high of day, uh, like a triple top, um, triple top you would say, um, and then the fourth one, and I saw it weak. Uh, I was watching the low too. I went, end up uh, started short here. And then added here when I saw it was really heavy on the ask here. Um, and then I covered uh, near VWAP. Um, I saw it flagging here. Uh, and then I saw a big sell order. So I, I hit the bid um, and then covered the rest here. And that was the end of that trade. It was a quick two small scalp. And that was a total of $131. Um, and it ended up fading back down a little bit and then it was it would squeeze up and this looks like it'll have uh, another move tomorrow um, looks like short some shorts are trapped here from this area um, so I'll be watching this tomorrow for another opportunity but yeah traded for stocks a day up total $143 um, uh, they were on the short side so uh, right now I'm a little bit more short bias but because uh, I feel like the momentum is not there right now um, everything is um, getting fade back down uh, with every spike every gappers are going down so um, as always guys um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye